Hey guys, one of my favorite things about the book of Psalms are the many adjectives used to describe God. Let me give you a few examples. Psalm 18, 1 and 2 says, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Psalm 27, 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Psalm 118, 7 says, the Lord is with me. He is my helper. Verse 14 of the same psalm says, The Lord is my strength and defense. Now these descriptions are all powerful expressions of the ways that God has impacted the writer's lives. So my question for you is, what are your adjectives for God? If I said, the Lord is your blank, what names would come to mind? Why? Well, because these names aren't just powerful statements. Who he is is personal to me and personal to you. One of the first names that comes to mind for me is Shepherd, like in Psalm 23, because I'm really good at keeping myself busy and always feeling the need to be doing something, anything really, and he invites me to rest in his presence, to slow down and just be. He is my defender because when the enemy tries to tell me I'm not good enough or tries to get me to believe that I don't have what it takes to do my job, the Lord reminds me of who he made me to be and how he designed me to contribute to the people around me and to this community. He is my strength. When I'm frustrated as a mom and I don't have the energy to keep redefining how I parent for each new season of my kid's life. And He is my healer because He takes all of the broken pieces of my heart from my own decisions or the decisions of other people and He carefully mends them into a beautifully broken vessel that He purposes for His good. So, I'd like to invite you today to take 10 minutes to answer this question for yourself. The Lord is my blank. Write it down. Because the most fascinating mystery of God is how he loves each one of us individually, personally, meeting us where we are and meeting our needs in each moment that we turn our eyes towards him. Now I get it, sometimes we get caught up in the everyday chaos of life and we don't always take time to sit and reflect on who he is and how he's personally shown up in our lives. But man, when we do, it draws us closer to him, into deeper relationship with him, and it makes us even more grateful for his presence in our lives.